Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is、uh, Chemistry and Life. Lately, in the news, I'm sure you're well aware of it. There's、um, big news on、uh, Ebola. Now, we're not covering the biological aspects of it. It's not uh, my uh, specialty. I'm not、uh, qualified to give you the details. But I want you to know some basis. Of some of these problems, you all know the difference between a、uh, worm, a parasitic worm,、uh, the difference between that and a bacteria, and a、uh, virus, and、um, many microbiological entities that can cause disease. First of all, let us not to assume that we know them all, but roughly speaking. Parasites, you can see, they're worms. They're big. You can you can deal with it. You can find a drug to deal with it. But when, but when it comes to、uh, bacteria, okay, it's like the bacteria I used to work on. It's called Haemophilus influenza, type A, B, C, D, E, F. And today we have developed successfully a vaccine. Okay, you can give the children a shot. Okay, a series of shots actually, to、uh, protect the kids from getting infection. And this kind of bacteria, you can see it. You can barely see it with a, a light microscope. All right, and worms, you can always see them, but、uh, because they're larger, bacteria is、uh, much smaller. Okay, and、um, you can see a、uh, you can see a, a larger amoeba, for example, and、um, very clearly with the microscope. Few days ago, I went to Kowloon Park, which is not far from Jordan. I scooped up some water from the beautiful water fountain, and came back home and took a good look at it.、Uh, suffice to say, there are tons of amoeba in it. I consider people breathing in those water fountain droplets of、uh, particle being very lucky. Let's say that there are some、uh, amoeba accidentally dropped in there by some birds, okay, or bird dropping that can、uh, that can cause disease. Suddenly, you will find yourself in deeper trouble than you can think of. Amoeba is a is a single cell animal that can swim, okay, it can get into your blood and get into your brain and eat you up, okay. A lot of times, okay, there's no cure. It's very difficult. Many times, when the children go to the streams up in the mountains, up in the hills, and play, and get infected with uh, uh, um, uh, amoeba, and here in Hong Kong, in the,、uh, in, uh, in the middle of Kowloon Park, with the no sterilization, with live water, with birds going, fish swimming, it's almost like romantic, but hell, it's a romantic way to die. Okay. And I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but let's hope not. Okay, I for one would not breathe would not breathe in a bunch of amoeba, okay, through the air spray of、uh, water droplets that are contaminated. Now enough for the bacteria. Now you,、uh, I'm talking about unicellular, but bacteria could be much smaller. They vary in size, vary in shape. Some are spiral shaped. Some of them are rod-shaped. Some of them are just almost like a spore that can fly in the air. Some of these airborne particles can kill you. Okay, but that's bacteria. Bacteria you can deal with it because they have、uh, capsules. They have different types of proteins. It's easier for us to to grow them, break them apart, and develop vaccines against it, or develop.、Uh, A、uh, sulfur drug or antibiotic to kill it. There's another th- another form of life form, if you call it life form, which you can literally crystal crystallize it and put it in a jar, and it will last for a million year. Okay, those are、uh, viruses. Viruses are very dangerous because they're very very small. Some of these small particles can actually infect. Okay, a bacteria. They can insert their、uh, genetic material into other chromosomes, other DNAs, 
including those of human, such as aid virus. My objective is to, is to talk to you about, you know, virus today is to, to, say, to, to make the following statement. Antibiotic does not kill viruses. Sometimes you go to visit a doctor, they give you antibiotics, even though you've got a flu, which is uh, which come from virus, but the antibiotic is giving you for secondary uh, 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 protection to make sure you get protected in case when you're weakened by the virus. Okay, rarely you will find a drug that will really work and, and that can help help you to cure uh, this kind of virus. Your but your body, okay can use your own immune system to destroy the or control a invading virus. Invading virus controlled are no longer life-threatening. The problem with Ebola, the problem with uh, uh, SARS, okay, are because you don't have time. They come in, took over your uh, body, you know, sometimes it could be hibernating for a few days without you knowing it. Okay, you get onto a plane. Okay, you get up 20,000 feet. You started to bleed. By the time you get off plane, uh, you can be a dead body that fast. And it happened before. There used to be a guy who uh, got infected. Okay, came down. You know, uh, the airplane had a fever and walked to the police station and crashed or walk to the uh, uh, hospital and crash. Those fluid, those particles, any biological particle that flew over and uh, you know the, that are in touch with you, it's likely to cause a disease, especially when you breathe in the particle. Years ago, I used to drive along a, a, a restaurant in the area of Virginia. On Route 7, there's a little building there, okay, behind the trees right in front of a uh, kindergarten, not far from the kindergarten. You can hear the kids playing. And within that compound are all the monkey concentrate that came from all from uh, maybe all over the world. At that time, it was monkey that came from uh, Philippines. And those Philippines were infected with a virus called Ebola Reston. It's called Reston because it happened there, actually. It most likely these are the mutants that came from Africa. And there are a lot of times people may have died of this uh, Ebola virus without ever being reported because you just don't know what happened. Had it not been modern medicine and diligent work, there will be a lot more of these cases. Just like eight. With the egg virus could have been there for the longest time without us knowing it because people are just dead. And Ebola is worse because it can actually get in your body, okay, get around your immune system, attack your kidney and attack your liver, and uh, cause a plenty of internal bleeding or, uh, you know, uh, disengage all your protectiveness of the endothelium blood vessels, okay? It can literally melt you. It sounds horrible, but don't blame on Ebola, okay? It's just a biological accident. It come, nobody knows for sure, okay? Although we have researched as hard as we can, we don't know what caused it. Because of the rate of mutation so fast, it's likely that uh, it will be gone before we know it sometime. But meantime, there's only one way you deal with it, and this is not something you can deal with antibiotic. It is not something you can deal directly with just uh, uh, boosting your immune system. Okay. The doctors, okay, with all due respect, with all my respect actually, just working on the Ebola I got infected, my heart goes out to them. But the, uh, now some of them are facing imminent death. Luckily, the scientists that's working on this project have been very diligent. Some guy uh, uh, is ingenious. They actually took the uh, the virus apart. 
perhaps they're using the uh, Western virus and work on the, you know, chop the uh, uh, virus into, let's say, three parts, A, B, C, okay? And they work on the immune system on A, B, C, using monoclonal antibodies. Okay, I'm not going to get into monoclonal antibody. That's a Nobel Prize uh, uh, creation. It's a beautiful thing. But using that technique, okay, and recombine them, okay, and use that, then patience and miracles that is happening right now as we speak. And I hope uh, the doctors that received the serum from this kind of uh, uh, wildest imagination, okay, will recover. And this this creative thinking deserves a Nobel Prize. Okay, the good news is, okay, finally we realize one thing. Whether well, it will be AIDS or SARS or Ebola, all these viruses that we're talking about, okay, we're talking about how we were given the chance and time to use our own biological system. Either be using some protein, some uh, 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 there, are, uh, there are many biological defense systems that's within us. That's an that's a entire, entirely a different chapter. It can be interferon, it can be a, uh, some kind of specific protease, okay? But suffice to say that our biological system, when it's primed differently, can handle the virus Otherwise, there won't be any human left. Viruses is going to be there. It's going to mutate. It's going to change, and this kind of disease will continue. Okay, if not today, it will be tomorrow. Who knows? Okay, we just have to give our best shot. Okay, one thing we know: stay away from Ebola or any potential infection area. Stay away from the monkeys. Stay away from the. Uh, flying fox or bats, we call it. Bats is, uh, uh, in this case, is, could be a carrier. It could be very dangerous. Sometimes it makes one wonder, where is this virus hiding during different episodes? Suddenly it comes, suddenly it goes. It's probably hiding within the animal kingdom. It's just not in human. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.